Hello, uh, my name is Carl uh, and I live um, outside of a little village in New South Wales called Bungonia. Uh, that's part of Gundungura country, which is two hours from Sydney. Um, previous to this, I uh, lived in Sydney for uh, many years. And before that, I lived in New York City uh, and I was born and raised uh, just outside of uh, Washington, DC. Uh, I am a dual American Australian um, citizen, and I'm very happy to be here today uh, taking part in this project. Um, I was diagnosed with HIV uh, in Manhattan in 2006, and I completed the PLDI workshop uh, in 2015. So in the um, lead up to the workshop, after I was accepted, I would say that my general mood was one of um, just a feeling of excitement um, to grow forward professionally, really. Um, for a bit of context, I had, uh, so that was 2015. Um, my first job in HIV started in 2013 and I was working as a peer navigator. Um, my role worked with other uh, men who were mostly newly diagnosed with HIV. Um, and we worked together around topics like how do you talk about your status or disclose your HIV status? Um, how do we make sense of um, really complex challenges like uh, stigma? Uh, how do you build resilience? Um, how do you find a doctor who uh, provides uh, appropriate care that you could be honest with? How you think how how, to, how how can we enable social connection, which we know is really um, transformative for those of us with HIV. Um, so now going back forward two years to PLDI, um, while that previous work I did was really rewarding, it was also really taxing. Um, so looking at PLDI, it was less therapeutic in nature. Um, it, we had some emotional moments, but it's not a therapeutic workshop. It was a workshop designed to build leadership capacity in people living with HIV. Um, where I was in two years into an HIV kind of uh, career, it was just really exciting to get that opportunity to learn more uh, about leadership. So that could be applied forward uh, to work in the Australian HIV response or the global HIV response or into another career. It's just, yeah. So I was, I was excited and uh, the program did not disappoint. My favorite thing about the course is really the um, inspiration uh, and, and motivation uh, that the, the course gives uh, a participant um, to develop their work or, or their um, involvement in the HIV response. Um, or potentially for others, it could have um, uh, impacted them in any ways. But um, yeah, I think just that general inspiration that you get um, from learning about things like uh, you learn about uh, different leadership styles. So you can kind of consider uh, what might come natural um, to yourself, uh, which is uh, a really good exercise so we can kind of orientate in the right way uh, that works for us. Uh, you also do personality kind of profiling. Um, those personalities are represented by one of four different animals. Um, I think a funny thing is um, I was a peacock. Um, <laughs> And from memory, and please don't uh, quote me from this, but I feel like about 80% of everyone who attends this program is designated as a peacock. So it seems to attract a certain kind of personality type, but um, yeah, all that inspiration and motivation um, to play a, a stronger and stronger role in the HIV response and, and learning what your leadership style is and what your personality type might be. Uh, really helpful. And um, that's my favorite moment from the workshop. I think upon completing the program, I had a much greater understanding of different leadership styles because that's a, a core part of the program. Um, and personally, I could also then reflect upon um, what were maybe some of my own natural strengths as a leader uh, and also what were some of my deficits or areas that I had an opportunity to uh, develop and refine. Um, 
Upon completing the program, I certainly had a lot of fire in the tank. So that would have been two years into my first role at a community organization um, to try forward that, yes, I wanted to play a role in a professional position um, in the Australian and also the global kind of HIV response. So it left me very motivated. Um, I also had 12 new contacts uh, through the program that I went through um, who are people who not entirely, but many also have gone on to, to work in, in HIV. So I had some really great new friends and also professional contacts uh, to grow forward with. Um, I'm speaking here today 100% as an individual and not on behalf of any organization. So I just want to say that just say that up front. Um, but PLDI, uh, now in terms of how it influenced my career, it was a stepping stone. So I took it, I spent nine years working in a community organization uh, called ACON, and I uh, worked at PLDI. I did PLDI during my first role there working in HIV support. Um, and it really motivated me forward. So I had three more roles uh, in that community organization, uh, working in things like HIV prevention and uh, working at and managing HIV testing services, um, also developing and delivering um, interventions to address HIV stigma, um, which is a really interesting, complex and important work. So PLDI was a real stepping stone there. Um, it pushed me forward, I think, to go on to get a uh, graduate degree in public health, a master's of public health at UNSW. Um, and then today, uh, I now work uh, as a senior medical manager at a global uh, biopharmaceutical and research company. So I'm a senior medical manager uh, at Gilead Sciences. And today, I still work in uh, HIV, and I'm still striving uh, to support uh, treatment optimization uh, for anyone living with HIV uh, in any way that I can. So PLDI played a really critical role, uh, particularly, you know, two years into uh, the beginning of my career in HIV. Um, looking forward, the experience of living with HIV continues to evolve and um, our HIV sector uh, continues to evolve. Uh, and PLDI, I can't wait to see how it evolves forward as well, uh, building a new leadership, more leadership in the um, uh, HIV response here in Australia and beyond. Um, and I would just end by saying uh, the idea of JIPA and MIPA or the, the, the greater and meaningful involvement of those of us living with HIV uh, within the HIV response that is really embodied by a program like PLDI. Um, I don't think there, there isn't another program like PLDI in Australia. Um, so um, uh, thank you to everyone who continues to drive programs like this uh, forward. And thank you to Living Positive Victoria for taking the time uh, to document a 10-year kind of anniversary thing for a really, really, really valuable piece of work. Uh, and thanks for allowing me to uh, also take part in it. So with that, have a lovely day and um, thanks.